Makita's 16-inch battery-powered chainsaw was released over a year ago, and today it's still one of the top professional electric chainsaws on the market. As the debate between gas and electric chainsaws continues, we gave it to our friends at Alamon Arbor Tree Preservation to put it through its paces and decide if it deserves a spot on a professional tree truck. This is your inside look at the Makita 16-inch electric chainsaw. I'm Tyler Mitten. I'm here with Alamon Arbor to cut down a tree today. Um, this is my standard equipment. This is my go-to steel gas saw. Um, it is an MS-362. Uh, this saw basically does anything within the bar length that I want it to. It's not failed me yet. However, today I'm going to be trying out for the first time this uh, new Makita battery saw. Um, initial impression is it's much lighter. It's a lot more compact. Um, feels good in your hand. So we're going to see if this compares to my go-to steel, um, power-wise, function-wise, but uh, it looks like a good contender. I'm excited to try it out. All right, so I just got done running the Makita battery operated saw. This is model XCU04. It's the uh, dual battery model using two 18 volt batteries. Uh, gives it an output of 36 volts. Uh, I was really impressed with the power that this saw had. Um, I've never used battery saws before. I actually used this in the tree on a birch that I uh, just pruned and it was very comparable in speed and power. Uh, it's a little longer than the saw that I use every day. I had it hanging here on my saddle when I was in the tree. It's really not that noticeable. Ergonomically, it fits really good in the hand. Um, all the safety features are essentially the same as a gas powered saw, if that's what you're used to. I think that this could be a contender um, if you're on the ground. I don't know if I would use it in the tree all the time. I understand that there are tree battery saws that are coming out, but if I was a homeowner just making, uh, you know, firewood cuts, cutting up firewood to put in your fire pit or whatever, I would definitely see this as a contender and a replacement over a gas saw. For me, using uh, gas saws, making hundreds of cuts a day, I'm not sure that I would replace my gas saws, but I could definitely see having this on the truck for smaller jobs, um, especially in areas with a noise ordinance. Um, that could be pretty convenient, or if you have a homeowner with pets that are sensitive to loud noises and things like that, I could definitely see that. All in all, I would definitely uh, recommend this if you're looking for a smaller, lightweight, compact saw. After Tyler finished up with it at the job site, we took it to Brian and Alamon Arbor's garage to take a look inside the Makita's features and design. What we're um, gonna review today is the Makita XCU04. This requires two 18 volt battery packs. It also has a 3 8 043 bar. It's a very good machine. My crews have used this um, two separate times. At both times, they found it to be very convenient, light, um, which caused less fatigue on the body. Overall, just a lot easier to use, less things to do to prep the saw to actually do the tree work. Another great feature of this saw is, is how accurate and quickly the brake does shut off the motor and stops the chain. That's, one, uh, that's a very good benefit to have because in the event of anything happening that, that may be accidental, hurt somebody, it stops very quickly with no hesitation at all. My biggest concern with the saw are the way the batteries clip into the saw. My, my, my concern would be if the saw gets dropped on the ground from just a short distance, where the actual saw or the battery clips into the saw may break, um, come dislodged, causing the battery to fall out. Um, what I would like to see as an improvement for that is some type of a rubber strap going over it to further secure the batteries, stopping it from falling out. So today we're gonna go ahead and dismantle the saw. <clears throat> to actually dismantle a saw, you don't need a lot of tools. As you can see, this is the oiling mechanism that actually oils the blade. we have is the brake mechanism. This is what shuts off the function to the motor. I 
Another nice function of this is how thick and heavy duty the actual clutch is. The sprocket is also very heavy duty, thick metal. It will take a long time to actually wear that specific piece out. This is the worm gear that helps spin the actual mechanism to drive the oil from the oil reservoir into the worm gear. As it's spinning, it pumps it up and right out onto the, to the bar itself. When you loosen it up, if you move this worm gear here, it causes this to either tighten the chain or loosen the chain. And that is all done once you loosen this by either going to the plus size to tighten or the minus side to loosen it. It's a very simplistic system. There's not a lot of pieces in here. That is a plus. You don't have to have any tools for it. And, and, and in this business, anything, one less thing that you have to grab um, is great for production. You guys can just get right off the truck and do a quick adjustment with no tools, going back to the truck to grab a tool or having somebody else do it. All right, that's gonna do it for this inside look at the Makita 16 inch 36 volt electric chainsaw. Thanks again to Tyler and Brian at Alamon Arbor for sharing their professional insight. You can go get your own Makita electric chainsaw from our sponsors at ohiopowertool.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check out coptool.com, and I'll see you this Friday at noon for all the latest in power tool news at our Cop Tool Week in Review. Thanks for watching.